and someone suggested to make this i'm absolutely in love with brazil i love the people love the country love the food love the beaches and i'm learning portuguese um has a lot in common with the spanish language so i learnt a bit of spanish for about four months before i started learning portuguese i've been learning portuguese for a year but um all I've learned on Duolingo is loads of words. I know about 300 words, but I can't hold a conversation with a Brazilian and I can't translate a Brazilian very well. They speak too quick. So um, I joined a different app, Hello Talk. And in three weeks, I can now say the Portuguese alphabet. I can count up to 30. You just need to take small steps when you're learning another language. Portuguese isn't particularly difficult. There are a few words that are spelt almost the same but mean totally the opposite. Like ball and handbag. One is bola, one is bolo. Um, that can get a bit confusing. And then there's feminine representations of words and masculine representations of words. So a man that you would call beautiful is lindo. A woman that you call beautiful is Linda. Feminine words end in an A. Once you start picking that up, it gets very simple. The difficulty is in pronunciation. When you speak English, you don't have to use parts of your mouth that you need to use when you speak Portuguese. A lot of Portuguese words start with your tongue at the front of your mouth. Words like bread, which is pau very hard to say when you're used to speaking English but practice makes perfect. Uh, power was a very good example because if you say that wrong it means a totally different word and it's a part of your body that's quite rude. So it's something to be careful of when you're standing in a baker's asking for a loaf of bread. Um, I've been to Brazil three times last year. Um, as I say an amazing country, an amazing people and you need to get acclimatized one to the climate because if you go to northern brazil like i do it can get very humid and you feel so hot i recommend buying brazilian clothes when you're there rather than taking english clothes or american clothes our t-shirts tend to be a little bit too thick for the weather and then you need to get acclimatized to being in brazil brazilians do not have social bubbles like we do um they think nothing of giving you a hug. <clears throat> we all walk around in the West with our little social bubbles that we don't like people to invade. That's a notion that you have to drop when you're going to go to Brazil. No such thing as a social bubble. Also, cleanliness in Brazil is very important. Uh, more than looking at you, they're going to smell you. And if you don't smell nice, you're not going to impress them at all. So um, I went to Brazil and met a friend from Canada who thought it was okay to shower twice a day, uh, <laughs> twice a week, uh, more like three times a day if you're going to impress Brazilians and use a nice smelling aftershave. Um, and that's it. That's just my opening blog talking about learning Portuguese. Um, again, not intimidating at all. You might think it's intimidating, but just remember to learn a language, it takes small steps. And every journey starts with that first step. Don't expect miracles. You'll wake up one morning and realise you can speak quite a bit of Portuguese. Um, start with the alphabet, something Duolingo doesn't do. Once you know how the words sound, it's easier to say the words and easier to understand the words. That's my first piece of advice. Thank you.